Welcome to the Lendlease Project Information Management System Getting Started course series. Video 3, The Layer Menu. In this tutorial video, we'll take a look at the Map Menu. We'll work from a standard laptop computer that is already logged into PEMS with ASAM selected. The map is blank right now, so let's add a few things to it. In the upper right corner of the Map panel, you'll find the Layers Menu button. It looks like two stacked blue boxes. This menu allows you to select the information you'd like to see laid over the map. It is sorted into expandable groups that contain all the layers of an information type or category. In this example, let's take a look at the HFC group. It has two layers in it, one for HFC assets that have work against them, and one for those that do not. We can turn on one layer by clicking the tick box next to it and waiting for the information to load onto the map. To turn off the layer, we simply click the box next to it again. The group name also has a tick box beside it that once selected will turn on and off all of the layers in a group. If we look at the MDU group, we'll see that it has in-scope and out-of-scope layers as well. We can turn on all of the layers of a certain type throughout all groups by using one of the filter options from the top left of the layer menu. Let's see all of the layers that contain in-scope assets now. This is a lot of information to download and so it may take some time to display on your screen, especially if you are on a mobile device in the field. Let's see how it looks. That took a while to load and it's a bit messy. Let's make things easier on ourselves by only turning on a few layers, those that we'll need to work. The informational group will contain layers with useful overlays like street address numbers and property boundaries. With these selected, let's take a look at the map again. It's getting awfully busy again, but we can zoom into our work area to get a better look at what this information can do for us. Using only the layers you need will let the map load faster and make it easier to work with. Let's go back to the layer menu one last time to take a look at saving preferred layer setups. At the bottom of the menu are two buttons. Save Preferences will remember the layer setup you have selected and automatically apply it when you return to PEMS. But remember, different SAMs have different layers and you may have to reselect or deselect layers if you change SAMs, even if you've saved your preferences. The Restore Defaults button will clear any preferences you have saved. Every project in SAM will have its own layers menu setup, so try out different groups and filters to find out what works for you.